Hey y'all, it's Lanamore here. I'm back with another video and this week's video is gonna be all about cameras, yes. I'm gonna be telling you guys about the camera that I use to film my YouTube videos. I've gotten questions about this too as well, so hopefully if you have not, before we get into this video, if you have not checked out the first video of part of my little YouTube one-on-one -on -one series that I'm starting on my channel. If you have not checked out that video about lighting and also I did YouTube video ideas, I'm honestly gonna correlate a whole playlist and I'll just link that down in the description box so you guys know what I'm talking about and be sure to watch the videos kind of in order. Okay, let's jump back into this video. So I'm gonna be telling you guys about the cameras I film with when I film my YouTube videos. A lot of people have a false perception that you need to have this big old fancy camera and honestly you do not have to have a nice camera when you're starting your channel and starting to film. Um, you honestly can literally film from your phone like I'm doing right now and <laughs> you can film with a point and shoot camera, regular camera. The only struggles with um, filming from my point and shoot camera which is the Nikon Coolpix this is what I occasionally film my video with, is it doesn't have an external mic. So it can sometimes have my sound um, a little bad, depending on how far or how close I am to the camera. Um, the benefits, the pros and cons of having this point and shoot camera is that it has 1080p, which is like very HD quality. And it has, um, I really like the quality of it overall. I will actually, link in either the cards or the description box of videos that I've actually have filmed with this camera on its own. So I would say that um, about 80-20% of the time or maybe 70-30% of the time, majority of my videos come directly from my phone and then 30% of the time they come from the camera. So now when it comes to the phone I'm filming with, this can get a little pricey. This camera is literally under a hundred bucks. Um, probably now. I know it was like a hundred dollars when I, like it was a hundred something. It's under $200, but I know it probably is like cheaper now because I bought this camera like probably like three years ago maybe by now. Um, so obviously the, there has been new cameras that came out after that, but however, my phone is a little bit pricier. I, my friends, own the iPhone 8 Plus. Um, which is one of the newer models of the iPhone. Um, there is another model after mine, but this is actually kind of one of the newer ones as well. Um, the 8 Plus, then you have the 10, and then you have the X Max. So um, I do have the bigger phone, so that is why um, my, video, my quality is a little more probably HD than most other iPhones. However, I do have videos where I filmed with my older iPhones, um, like the 5 and I believe the 6 as well, um, on my channel, so I'll be sure to link those videos down below. So when it comes to filming, you're obviously going to want to watch the lighting video as to really what's going to make or break the way the quality of your video comes out, depending on whatever you're filming with. So when you're filming from your phone, um, you're obviously going to want, one, a tripod, and two, a phone thing that can connect your phone if you're like not willing to break your bank and you're like I don't want a camera right now and you can literally use your phone like I am and you're gonna want to use your earpiece that I have attached to where my sound is um, basically um, how do you say it y'all I'm lost for words where your sound is like being heard more because if you if I don't film without this my sound is like a little lower but filming with this allows my sound to be projected more there you go there's my words okay so I'm gonna turn this around so you guys can kind of see what this whole setup looks like um behind the scenes so yeah let's quickly start ignore my bed okay don't come for me this is a video about how to film from your phone okay <laughs> so don't come for me. All right, let's turn this camera around. All right, so see how I have this set up, this piece? You're gonna want this piece right here that's literally my phone sitting on and a tripod. I got my tripod from Walmart 
And I got this piece from my sister. Shouts out to sis for already having it. But you can also get it on Amazon. No shameless plug at all. So you can also get it from Amazon as well as this tripod. If I can um, find something similar like this on Amazon, I will link it down in the description box as well as a tripod that's in a price range to where you don't have to technically um, buy a camera just yet if you just want to like use your phone for the time being. The only difference is about filming from your phone you're going to probably have to delete your videos as you film them especially if your capacity of your phone is not like a lot. I know some people they may have like 32 gigs. I have 64 gigabytes so <laughs> you know I can keep my videos a little bit longer on my phone but if you don't have that you're obviously gonna um, have the issue of having to delete your videos because especially if you have like apps and stuff but that's the only thing and yeah I probably think that's it that's all you're really gonna need and some they do have mics specifically for your phone that you don't have to technically do this ghetto like pin that I have you don't have to technically do that but um, don't worry if you don't want to spend $14 I think for like a little external mic for your phone just use your headset most of us have these laying around and literally find a paper clip or like a little binder clip like I got and just clip it onto you and just start filming y'all don't make excuses like you I literally just showed you my like setup how this phone is how to film from your phone literally now I can show you right quick how I set my camera up um, but I'm gonna do a separate video on that on like my filming setup so you guys can have a little bit more broader understanding. All right, I'm talking too much. Leave, a video, leave your comments down below. Give this video a thumbs up and let me know what you think. Also, um, be sure to subscribe, share this video, like, comment, um, and be sure to turn on that notification bell and check out the other videos that are also going to be on this YouTube 101 series. All right, so, cool.